It's summer and that means it's time for a life update. Hey there saplings, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I am taking a few minutes just to check in with you and tell you all about the things happening on the farm and in my druidry and in life. Some of you may know because you follow me on Instagram or write letters to me, but I got a new job this spring. At the end of May, I started at a new land trust and I am their development and outreach manager. That means I'm kind of going back to my roots from college and doing fundraising and really helping develop new relationships with the people who make the land trust successful. And this land trust spends its resources and time protecting incredible places around Dane County and where I live. They protect woodlands and prairies and wetlands and farmland and just some really cool projects. I am so excited to be working with this team and doing something a little bit new but utilizes all of my skills in a really exciting way. I've been able to jump in on projects right away even though I'm still learning lots and that will continue for a while. It's been super exciting to just get in there and do something really meaningful and exciting, different. Obviously when you're doing a new job, there are job interviews and preparing your old job for you leaving and learning your new job. So it's been a little hard to be on social media and writing in my blog. We're kind of working our way up through the, the training process. So I'm looking forward to spending more time with you, saplings, and talking about druidry and books and just magic and life. On top of this job process, I also decided to reevaluate whether I was ready to move on to the Druid grade in Obad. I took the time to bind my Ovate course just like I did the Bard course and that's through Grim Bindery. As I was getting this book back I had a chance to look at all that material and think about what I wanted out of my spiritual practice and my relationship with Obad and decided that there was more yet and I was ready to kind of keep going and exploring a different phase of that practice. So I have started the Druid grade. This is the first Gorsi. It's a different color, obviously. Um, and I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm also exploring the idea of maybe doing a local grove, Druids that are closer to where I live and work and maybe doing a meetup that way. I am still a little bit on the fence on whether I have the time or desire to do that, but if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. Have you started your own group? How did that go? What did you think? Any advice? I'd appreciate it. I'm really curious about your perspective on the topic. Here on the farm, we are moving the sheep and the poultry pretty much every week. We have some of that movable fence. It takes a lot of time but we are trying to keep our pastures in good shape and our animals healthy and utilizing that rotational grazing system to better enhance the soil life because it, it's been a little neglected here. We planted our garden super late this year. Like, I still have potatoes I need to plant. I don't even know if it's worth it at this point, but some of those projects have kind of been pushed aside, just kind of off on the timing we're definitely figuring out the work-life balance, particularly when it comes to getting renovation projects done. So chaos is still all around us. I have high hopes for making our home a healthy, productive permaculture oasis. It's just a reality check to remember that step by step, gotta get small projects done before those big projects are even close to being completed. Since it's summer, I would love to hear what you guys are doing, what's new in your life, any big spiritual revelations or just fun family things happening. We are going on a trip to Germany in this fall, so I'm also planning that. Are you going on any trips? Summer is definitely a traveling time, so I'd love to hear about that. No sapling shout out, because this is just an update video, but comments below and maybe you'll be a sapling shout out in the next video. Thanks for watching, and as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove.